Welcome to today's presentation. I am a corporate pleb, and this is How to Corporate. In our final act here of looking at sales as a role, we're going to take a look at it from the concept of being art. We're reviewing the art of selling and how sales as an aspect of nature is actually pretty amazing. Selling is like any task. Once you know the structure of a sale and do it a few times, it becomes second nature. Once you learn it, you have two options. You can go on autopilot the rest of your boring career, or you can get creative. You can develop your own personal style. And once you know how to be a salesperson, you can learn how to be a sales artist. Make no mistake, once you are past the work aspect, once you're beyond the daily drudgery, sales can become art. Evolution led to this odd dynamic where a species of creature on this rock of ours developed a concept of trade and bartering. This is a time-honored social interaction amongst our species. You don't have to feel sleazy even if you are. You simply need to embrace that while you find yourself in a salesperson role. No one said this is life for you, but it could be. And why not? Worst things to do, worst things to take pride in, might as well own what you are doing. Even if you leave sales, the skills that are your bread and butter in this job will follow you literally to any role you occupy. Sales is a backbone of human behavior, and if you're in it, you might as well enjoy it. Knowing how to sell is a skill many people do not have. You can enjoy this world of sales. You can put your own spin on things. Acting and having excitement for the boring nonsense we all sell is half the fun. In some cases, it might be the only fun you get. Be exciting. You're never going to see the client more than a few times before it moves out of your hands. Be there evening at the circus. Make an impression, even if it's that you are an oddball. It's okay, and as reviewed before, it's expected. I expect sales behavior from sales people. I don't expect sales behavior from priests or nurses or crossing guards. You have a role to play, one steeped in generations of lore. A sales rep is always odd acting and manipulative, professional, but maybe a bit of a scumbag, be that. People want you to be that. It's comfortable. Work that razzle-dazzle. You don't have to juggle or sing or anything ridiculous. It might be a circus, you might be a clown, but you don't need to present in the same manner. This is a highly specific dance. The old corporate razzle-dazzle. It can be as simple as having a solid speaking voice, when you think of all the meetings you ever attended, how many had a speaker who you heard clearly, spoke with concision, and delivered something memorable, even if it was just their tone that impressed you? Probably few, but everyone remembers if a speaker was good, even if they instantly forget the message. Sometimes a solid impression is all you need to succeed and enjoy this role. How many times do you give a demo to a client and they ask for a second demo doing the exact same thing and then act like it's the first time they heard it? That happens all the time. It means no matter what you are doing, how your razzle-dazzle is, mostly people will not be paying attention to what you're actually selling. They just remember a large, sweeping impression. If the impression you leave is one of being entertaining, confident, and knowledgeable, then you have given it the effort required. You have done your job as a rep. Your role is providing acceptable levels of sleaze and a high burst of showmanship or show personship. If you sell during this dynamic, great. If you don't, keep moving as the show must go on. Art demands experimentation. Beyond the basic skill set involved, you will find advanced methods of selling. This is the good stuff. 
This is the last year and a half of college where you're done with all general education and dig into the core subject matter of why you're even there. Sales in its pure form is down to entertainment, information, and navigating around, over, and through difficult aspects of your imperfect product to one ultimate goal of getting the sale. There is one goal, make that sale, and an infinite amount of paths to get there. You will develop one or two tried and true autopilot sales demos you have in your standard bag of tricks, but here and there, when you can go out and experiment on new methods of selling the same product, that's where things can get fun. That's where artistic expression in this role professionally can absolutely blossom. One thing to watch out for is the notion of owning your frontline position. Many sales reps will defer. They will speak, but when it comes down to true ownership of anything beyond the front end carnival bark of step right up, they defer to the clowns to keep the client interested. Resist the temptation to be a lazy sales rep. The lazy sales rep looks to hook a potential client and then immediately offload them before they are even official clients to other staff members to round up a sale. Why do sales reps do this? Many sales reps are terrified of owning that client relationship. They want to be able to say it was their job to get the potential client's attention, but then it's the rest of the company's job to keep it. A sales rep should not be looking to offload their role of entertaining the client all the way through to signing on the dotted line and beyond. Getting the rest of the company to finalize a sale is weak and means the sales rep isn't as good as they think they are. There is no shortage of sales reps who do this. They look to hot potato a client to anyone other than themselves and pretend they are too busy to truly bring a new client in and that once they did one little song and dance up front they are out of it. You as a sales pleb, as someone who has to work a little bit extra to keep your position, you need to bring the noise. You need to put on the show. You need to chair the conversations, own the relationship, and only once they are using the product or service and you check in with them after the sale can you sunset the active relationship. Follow through on the sale. Don't look to simply get on the boat with a fishing pole. Look to come back ashore with the fish. The idea, of course, here with sales is that beyond just the professional act, the role of being a sales rep, this can turn into a little bit more for you personally. You're already in the role if you're already doing it, you might as well do your best to enjoy it and turn it into something of an artistic expression. Make that demo your own. Make it unique. Evolve it in ways that promote your sale, but evolve it in ways that speak to your personal strengths. Bringing an art form, developing it as part of your general day-to-day -day, can be an actual very fulfilling experience for you as a professional. Remember, of course, in the corporate environment, there is no one looking to bring you personal fulfillment. There is no manager who's going to come by and check in with you to make sure you're feeling okay. They have to do it because it's a checkbox, but they actually don't care. And five times of a manager doing an annual check-in with you and you saying the same things are being a problem and they're not getting fixed, you'll figure out pretty quick that managers and directors and higher-ups don't actually have any interest in your personal development. So as with everything, being a low-level pleb with no authority, no friend favors, and no one in high positions giving you a nod, you have to make sure that this life, the only one you have, stuck in corporate, is something that you're trying to make the most of. And being in a sales position actually gives you a really, really good opportunity to not squander personal development. Many positions in corporate are ones that do not give you any latitude, no broad brush to paint with, no room to grow. Sales absolutely gives you an open-ended way to grow as a person 
and as a professional. It's a very unique role that allows you to blend the personal and professional and you might be able to get something out of it that's very positive. Developing an act, developing and refining a demonstration act facing a client base is one of the few joys you can get as a sales rep in corporate and it's absolutely worth exploring if you find yourself in that position. Thank you for joining me. Please come back and explore the corporate world from the standpoint of a common worker pleb at any time. See you soon.